Okay, so we inherit from the UI image picker controller delegate. Uh, so we have functions that or methods that we can implement uh, when the user selects the photo so then we can handle uh, what to do with the photo. Uh, but first, let's implement the functionality of the camera. Okay. So now let's let's first do a check to make sure that a camera is available. So we can say if UI image picker controller if UI image picker controller dot is source type available and now the source type is going to be a UI image picker controller uh, source type dot camera okay so basically is the camera available and another shortcut way is you don't actually have to write all of this the UI image picker controller source type you can simply just say dot camera now if the camera is available then load the camera interface otherwise no camera is available which is going to be the case for the simulator uh, that we'll see I won't actually be able to show you this working uh, the camera working but you'll just have to take my word for it so no camera available so since there's no camera available let's actually just create an alert similar to how we just did before UI alert controller with the title the title is going to be error the message is going to be there is no camera available the preferred style is an alert and now we can say alert dot add action with a UI alert action um, there we go uh, the title is going to be okay we're only going to have one button so if the, if the camera's not available we'll just say okay the alert style is going to be a default fucking spell and now the handler alert action in we can simply say alert dot dismiss modal view controller true so the user presses the button OK then we just dismiss the alert alright now back to loaded in the camera interface we create a picker which is going to be of type UI image picker controller and this is so we create an instance of a UI image picker controller then we can say picker dot source type equals we can actually say dot camera or we'll just we'll do it fully UI image picker controller uh, source type dot camera and then picker dot delegate so we're setting up the delegate equals self uh, and then picker dot allows editing equals false so we're not going to allow the user to edit the photo at this moment in time and the reason being is because if you allow editing then you get back two photos you get back the edited one and the original photo so right now I'm just gonna handle working with the original photo and now we can say self dot present view controller the view controller is gonna be picker animated true and completion we're gonna say nil Oops. And I'm getting an error here. Type view controller does not conform to this. UI image pick controller camera picker dot delegate equals self. Oh, I know. I know why. The reason we have this error is because we also need to implement uh, or inherit from UI uh, navigation controller delegate 
right there. Okay, so now once we inherit from that uh, class, this uh, delegate function works out fine. Okay, so now this is all all that we need to do to to uh, present the the camera interface, and now we implement a UI image pick contr controller delegate method to handle when the user is done taking the photo. Okay, we'll implement that in one second. So now let's do the photo album. <coughs> The photo album is almost exactly the same as the loading the camera interface. We simply create a picker, which is going to be of type UI. Actually, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this since it is almost the same thing. So copy, paste. So we create a picker. A UI image picker controller. Uh, we create an instance of that class. Now the source type is no longer camera, it's going to be photo library. The picker delegate is dot self, is self, uh, no editing, or actually we can allow editing, we'll just say true. Actually we'll just say false for now, just to test it out, we can always change it. And now present the image picker, there we go. So that's all that we had to do for the photo album. So now we have both of these implemented. Now we have to handle when the user. Let me just, uh, close that. We have to handle when the user is done taking the photo and done selecting a picture, which is going to be. Listen, let me just move this down real quick. It's going to be a UI image picker controller delegate method. Okay. So the method that we need it there are the methods that we need to implement are going to be uh, image. Actually, let's just go to uh, the delegate and see the methods. So command click on that. The methods that we want to implement are going to be image picker controller did cancel. So the user open up the photo library or started a camera and then select the cancel and also did finish picking media with info. So we want both of these functions. Okay, and turn them into functions. Alright, so we'll do the did cancel first. So if the user selects the photo and then cancels, we can simply just say picker dot dismiss modal view con or dismiss view controller animated true completion. We'll say nil. Alright, so just dismiss that view controller, which is the, the photo library or the camera. Now if the user is done taking a photo, we have to get the photo. So let image equals the info dictionary. <coughs> the info dictionary dot object for key. Now the key that we want is the original image. Okay, so we want to just extract the original image. Uh, so what we can say is uh, U I image picker controller original image and then cast this as a UI image. Now if we want to do an edited image, so we did we up at the top we said allows editing. What we can do is say Edited image equals info dot object for key. Now the object for key is is going to be UI image picker controller edited image, and that also gives us the edited image, as I was saying before. But for now, I'm going to leave this commented out, but just to show you how to do it. Okay. So we have the image now, which is a UI image. Now we have to add it to the library. So again, we have to submit a change request using the singleton and the, the perform changes uh, method. Okay. So ph photo library, exactly like we've done before, shared photo library dot perform changes, the change block, and then the completion handler. Okay. 
So in the si inside the change block, we actually have to or create our request. So let create asset request equals ph asset change request dot creation request for asset from image. Okay. Now the image is simply image. So we create an asset request. Uh, so we're basically saying take this image and add it to uh, the assets. Okay. Now we can say let asset placeholder equals create asset request dot placeholder for created asset. Now the reason I'm, I'm using a placeholder here is because when we submit uh, this create asset request, what we're doing is submitting this image to the, the, the main photo gallery. We're not able to directly put the photo into, into, uh, into the, our app specific folder. So what we have to do is first create an asset request to put that image into the photo gallery then use an asset placeholder and then put use the asset placeholder to put the photo in our fold in our app specific folder as well okay so that's the reason why we're using uh, the asset placeholder okay so now once we have the placeholder we can simply say let album change request equals ph asset collection change request for asset in collection. Okay. The collection <coughs> whoops. The collection is self dot asset collection. And then assets is going to be self dot photos asset. Okay. So we're so we have an album change request. This is where we're actually going to be um, adding the photo to our album okay so we have what's, what do I get this error for okay so ph asset collection change request for asset collection the asset collection is self dot asset collection and then the assets is self dot photos asset now we can simply say album change request dot add assets so we can add an asset, and the asset that we want to add is simply asset placeholder. Okay. Now the completion handler. Success and error. So again, we can just do an NS log to make sure that, it, or print out if it was successful or not. So adding image to library, uh, percent at, we can test success, if it was, print out success, otherwise print out error. Then we can dismiss dismiss view controller true nil. No. So dismiss the photo gap the uh, the photo library or the camera. Okay. All right. So that should be everything. So let me just. Uh, walk through this one more time. So we use, we first get the image, which is what is passed through by, by the, uh, the dictionary here. So we basically look up, uh, look up the image that we want, which is basically the UI image picker controller original image using the info dictionary that was passed. Now we extract the image. Now what we need to do is add the image to our asset collection, which is here. So we submit a perform changes and a change request. So we we use the ph asset change request 
to first uh, create a request for asset from image. So use the image to 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 we essentially get in we create a request uh, to add an asset. And the asset that we want to add is this image. Okay. Now we grab a placeholder for that image because we want to add the image to our app specific folder. However, we can't add it directly using uh, this method right here. We can't just when we call this method ph asset change request dot creation request for asset from image this adds it to the main photo gallery and now we use a placeholder for this image and then add it to add that asset to our collection if that makes sense because we can't just get rid of this and and add the asset from image directly to our uh, app specific folder that's the reason for the placeholder okay and I'll say it again, the reason we can't just uh, create a request for asset from image um, directly to our app, we can't add the asset directly to our app specific folder. <laughs> okay, I hope that made sense. Uh, if not, you can you can uh, ask a question below and I'll, I'll try to answer you. Um, but that's essentially, we create the asset request to add the asset to the photos gallery, then we use a placeholder to actually add the image to our app specific folder. Okay, so here we actually add the asset. Now if it was successful we'll print that out and otherwise we just dismiss the, the view controller. Okay, so now let's test it out. That should be everything. Uh, let's see how it works. Okay, so now this is all. We have two photos here. We select the camera. Uh, nothing's happening. So there's a small error there. Uh, let's select this. So the photos comes up, and now we can select, say, all photos, and then select just a random photo, the Ferris wheel. And now it added it directly to our uh, our gallery here. So we can go back, recently added, we'll, we'll grab uh, this, boom, adds it to here. Now if we look at it, we can see that it's on here. We can see it's here. We can delete the photo. Yes. Now, we have these just these three photos. For some reason, this is not working right now, so we'll have to figure that out. Let's go back to our code and check this out. Uh, it might be, let me implement this whole thing. Um, UI image picker controller source type dot camera. Oops. Uh, camera. Otherwise, no cameras available. So then we do this. Okay. Now let's try running it one more time. Hmm. Let me make sure that this is connected to here. So if we look at this view controller, we have button camera is this button. So it is connected. Let's go back to the view controller. UI image for picker controller is source type available, which is UI image picker controller dot camera. Oh, duh. The reason it's not showing up is because we forgot to present the view controller here. So we need to present the alert true and then say nil. Okay, so I just forgot to present. So we presented the view controller here. Uh, we forgot to present the view controller if it was false, so if the camera wasn't present. So now we can save that and rerun it. Alright, so now if we select this, now we have the alert, there's no camera available, because we're on the simulator. Oops, uh, it's not working. So there we go. Now if we take the screen, it goes away, and everything's working out fine. Then we can add images, recently added, Just do the dog again, here's the dog, etc. 
All right, so now the app uh, is actually complete. Um, feel free to, to add on features that you want or take off features. Um, there's a bunch of things that you could do. So you could actually implement gesture recognizer. So if the user clicks and swipes, it'll go to the previous and the next photo. So you can implement that as well. It's not very hard. Um, but there's a, it's a, this is a good foundation, especially uh, for the new iOS 8 uh, Photos framework. I hope it helps out some of you. And if you have any questions uh, or tips or whatnot, feel free to comment below. Um, and thank you for your time. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon.